Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let us see how to find out the derivative of trigonometric functions as part of that tan x and cot x. First we will start with tan x. So, we know the formula f dash x equal to limit of f of x plus h minus of f of x by h as h tends to 0. Now, let us see what is our f of x f of x is equal to tan of x and f of x plus h equal to tan of x plus h. So, let us substitute in the formula. We will have f dash x equal to limit of as h tends to 0 f of x plus h that is tan of x plus h minus of f of x that is tan of x divided by h which is equal to limit of h tends to 0 we will write tan of x plus h as sin by cos so can I write it as sin of x plus h divided by cos of x plus h minus sin of x divided by cos of x. Now this is nothing but equal to if you take the LCM you will get like this form you will have cos of x plus h then multiply that with cos of x and multiply that with h you have sin of x plus h into cos x sin of x plus h into cos x minus cos of x plus h into sin x this limit of that as h tends to 0 this is equal to now we can see this is in the form of sin of a cos of b minus cos of a sin of b which is equal to sin of a minus b we know sin of a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so, if we substitute in that formula, we will have limit of h tends to 0, h multiplied with cos of x plus h multiplied with cos of x in the denominator. In the numerator, we will have sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So, I can write it as sin of a minus b. a is x plus h and b is x. So, x, x cancels. Next step will be limit of h tends to 0. I have sin of h divided by h into cos of x plus h into cos of x. Now, let us try to separate them as individual limits. So, I will write it as limit of sin h by h as h tends to 0. Multiply that with limit of h tends to 0 1 by cos of x into cos of x plus h. If you substitute h equal to 0, we know sin of x by x as x tends to 0 is 1 so that becomes 1 multiplied by 1 divided by cos of x into if h becomes 0 I will get 1 by 1 more cos x that is 1 by cos square x which is equal to secant square x so the derivative of tan x is secant square x let me just summarize that 
we have been asked to find out the derivative of tan of x by first principle. The first principle says that the formula for differentiation is average rate of change. That's nothing but the change in the function with respect to the change in the domain. That is f of x plus h minus of f of x divided by h. We know f of x is tan of x. We know f of x plus h is tan of x plus h. So we have substituted. We see that when we convert tan into sin and cos, we are getting into the form of sin of a minus b in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have h cos of x plus h and cos of x. If you simplify that, we get secant square x. Now, based on this, can we find out the cortex? Because we know cortex is nothing but tan of pi by 2 minus x. So, let us see how to do that. Let us see how to find out the derivative of cot x by leveraging derivative of tan x. We know derivative of tan x is secant square x. So, is there any way how I can write cot x in terms of tan x? Yes, I can write it as tan of pi by 2 minus x. So, I know the derivative of tan x is secant square x. Again, I have to apply the chain rule. So, I have to start from outer. Outer is tan. Tan derivative is secant square. So, I will write it as secant square of pi by 2 minus x. Then, the next is I have to find out the derivative of inner function. That is pi by 2 minus x, which is 0 minus 1. So, which is equal to minus 1 into secant square pi by 2 minus x. But we know secant of pi by 2 minus theta is cosecant theta. So, I can write it as minus 1 into cosecant square x, which is equal to minus cosecant square x. Now, what I want you to do, what I want you to do is, see, is there any other way how you can find out the derivative of tan x? If you can write tan as sin x by cos x, similarly, cot as cos x by sin x, can we apply u by v formula on this quotient formula on these two and see whether we are getting the same result as what we got here. So you take u as sin x, v as cos x here, take it in the form of u by v. You know the formula for u by v. That means how to find out the quotient derivative of a quotient of two functions which is nothing but equal to, let me write it down here, u by v derivative equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square. So, can we do like that and see whether we get the same thing or not? So, I'll continue with the derivative of trigonometric functions. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.